Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's been a busy day today, however, we are hopeful that we may have fixed my daughter's car. So fingers crossed. Um, it has been one of these days today. I was up at half past five and I fully intended doing so much, but I thought, well, as I'm up so early and Kathleen's bedroom is above the kitchen, so I was like, well, she's working a double shift today. I do not want to be, like, putting on the washing machine underneath her at silly o'clock in the morning when she didn't have to get up until the back at eight. So I was like, right, I'll do silly bits. So it was things like, do you know those boxes where you just stash things until you put them away? So I emptied a couple of boxes. I flattened some cardboard and put it into the recycling bin. Do you know, things like that. I did little bits like that this morning. Then I drove Kathleen to work. And that took me just about an hour. Um, and then I came back and I was like, right, I'll have myself a wee cup of tea. I'll get nice and relaxed. And then I'm, I was going out with Patrick. So I was like, right, I'll come through to you about 12 because we were going to the theatre. Um, his grandson had the lead in a college theatre production so we're like right we're going to the theatre starts at one so I was like oh you know I'll have this cup of tea I'll get myself sorted get myself dressed and I'll come through and then I looked at the clock and went it's half past 11 by the time I get ready it's gonna be 12 I've got to be at his by half past 12 and be there at one. Oh my goodness so that was then all systems go so we went through and um, we watched the play well we watched the first half because it's an old theatre and the seats are very uncomfortable. So I managed the first half and then I was like, mm, I'm never getting out of this chair if I don't get out now. Then we went and had a look at Kathleen's car. And we think we might have sorted it. We think. Fingers crossed. We will find out tonight. And so we decided, you know, we had a look at the car. We found out what we thought it was. And Patrick had the things to fix it at his house. So we went back to his house and had something to eat. Then we went back to the car and did the fixing of. And then I dropped Patrick off because his car's still not working. And I came back here. And then I was like, right, okay. So I got two um, Aldi Too Good To Go boxes because I've got to go and pick Kathleen up tonight and she's working in the town where the Aldi is. So I was like, right, I've got them ordered because normally I will not drive through. You pick them up between half nine and ten o'clock sort of thing. And I am not driving out at that time of night unless I absolutely have to. But tonight, I have to. I'm going to pick up Kathleen. So we're going to go and pick up the Aldi box. Then we're going to go and pick up Kathleen. Then we're going to drive her to Perth to her car. Then we're going to bring it out here. Hopefully, it doesn't break down on the way. So about 10 o'clock, if everyone could cross their fingers, that we get back here. Um, I will put a note on the community thing, you know, where I can just put up some text. I'll put a note up to let you know that we're back safe fingers crossed um so yeah <laughs> that's been my day so it's been one of those where you've got nothing done but you've got a lot done and those days are so strange because there's still stuff needing to be done in the kitchen um there's still stuff that I want to do in the house I can quite happily do it tomorrow but my initial intention was to do it today but things changed and although I didn't get the stuff done that I thought I was going to, I actually got a lot done. You know, there was stuff that had been sitting for a while in those little boxes, so that's away now. We've been supported of Patrick's grandson. We've sorted out Kathleen's car. I've got her to work. I'm picking her up from work. Hopefully bringing the car back. I'm getting two good to go boxes. Excuse me. Two good to go boxes. You know, it's actually been a very productive day. And that was, that's basically what I'm taking from it is if you think you've done nothing some days, just check what you've done. Because sometimes you'll be surprised that although you haven't done what your initial intention was, especially if you've been helping others or supporting others, then you've got a lot done. Catch you later.